Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you another video. All right, so I create some space, but it turns out I only had like 15 minutes left to talk. So I'm glad I turned that off because this is a little more than a 15 minute walk. So I went up the hill and now I'm coming down one of the side hills that I used to live by heading up toward my old apartment. And uh, this isn't the main hill we used to go up. This is kind of the street we would turn on when we wanted to cut through some of the traffic on the other side. But I am literally a block away from my house literally a block i'm on my own stumping grounds so we used to call it old that's how my mom used to phrase it when she would go back to places she used to live and this is that this is exactly that man this little area seeing this all my life growing up from zero to 16 years old this was like the only home i knew this was the only home i knew and i'm my my uh address was 2041 north ivar and we're gonna head over there I got 21 minutes to talk, so I'm gonna try to speed it up. But this little dead end, I ain't seen this stuff in a million years, man. But I grew up seeing all of this, and it was the only thing I knew. That's why people are like, oh, you ain't hood? No, I ain't hood. I ain't no hood, dude, because I'm from Hollywood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, these eyeballs. And this tunnel, what we'll do is I'll take you back down that tunnel. I'll show you the, the castle, so to speak. There's a castle up there to the right of us, and then the tunnel to the left of us and I'll just show you the apartment and then we'll head back down the tunnel and hopefully by then the video will have uploaded and we can go forward from there so the, remember I was telling you about that girl I had bought the uh, the underwear for she lived like at this building right here and no I wasn't dealing with her in no kind of way I really wasn't a lot of people would lie about stuff like that but I bought that stuff for her birthday I just remember doing it but she lived in this building right here and a lot of what I did growing up was riding my uh, my little uh, let's see, roller blades and stuff like that through this area. I remember when they built this building. Believe it or not, that was like in like 1989. But I remember when they built it, and uh, it was a really nice place. Actually, it probably wasn't that. It was probably like 93 when they probably built this building. Probably 93. But this was a uh, this would look like this when I was a kid. I think I think this was like this just not as green <laughs> wasn't as kept and this was a white house where a lady had a dalmatian back in the day it should be a dalmatian there big old dalmatian and uh yeah man we are footsteps away from where i used to live man this is weird it's weird being on this block right now but this is where your boy's from and best believe we couldn't afford to live here today no way in hell <laughs> no way in hell we could live here now but anel hemsley used to own this building that was the lady who gave us my mom the managerial spot over at uh, Dunsmere but before she did this is where she owned this is her place and these even though these parking uh, structures were next to the house we never could park there that wasn't that wasn't for us <laughs> we should we didn't own that that belonged to somebody else so we could never park there but this is where we're from man. this is it 2041 is this this is my window 2041 no five one from it man this was my window right here i remember someone shot the shot a bb through this thing one time while i was sitting next to my old spot sitting next to i don't know what i'm trying to say oh you can't look through there when is the last open nah they can't see it and they shut it off so you can't see through there but that's where i'm from man and this was here when i was here this was here uh that door was different oh this is different and uh yeah man this is where i'm from this is the old place i used to live this is my old window. And we put the bars up before we left. They actually put the bars up two years up. Two years after we left. And the reason why those bars are there is because they shot that BB through the window. That's why those bars are there. Kid you not. And it's cause of, not because of us, because somebody rode by and almost hit me while I was looking into my mirror, which is directly there. They hit the mirror and it zoomed close, like a BB. And I was only like eight, nine years old. But yeah, man, this is, this is it. That's where I'm from, yo. That's my place. That is the only place I ever knew between 0 and 16. And that is my mailbox right there, 2041. I kid you not. I used to go back here, throw the trash out. Show y'all everything, even though it's probably cut off by now. But yeah, this is where we used to go. We didn't know nobody. We always stuck to ourselves. But if it's still the way it used to be, there's a lot of stuff back here you can go to. And I don't honestly even know what this used to look like, man. But back there, there used to be an area you can go back and like see stuff. I think it was on the other side, actually. This don't look nothing like it used to. 
barely remember this. I truly don't really remember this. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is this is where I'm from. This is my old building. This is it. This is the spot, man. I'm exploring now. Probably shouldn't even be back here, but this is what it is. And that used to be an open area. I think I think I'm on the wrong side to show y'all that open area. I think it was on the opposite side, but since it's only it's been literally 20, 25 years, almost 30 years since I've been here. Oh no, I, I came back once actually when I was doing lift about back in like 15. I did come back here once and took pictures, but I didn't have my channel yet. So maybe it was a little, maybe yeah, about 15. I think it was before my mom passed. I don't remember. No, was I doing lift after that? 18 minutes? I don't remember. I can't open this though, can I? It's damn near impossible to open it. Is it push or is it pull? Or pull? Mm -hmm. nah, I can't get back there. Oh, that's why. They got the wall. This thing. Let's see if I can get back here. Show y'all. Yeah, this is where it was. And it was an open ended area. And you can go back here and do all kinds of stuff. They shut that off, but that used to be open, if I'm not mistaken. We'd go back down there head back to the back and it would be like an open field. You can see the Hollywood sign back there. You can see the, the freeway from there. It was so much, man. And I think this is where you threw the trash out, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to close it the way they had it. Put, the, put that back there like that. But yeah, man. Come down here. That's where I'm from, man. I just got climbed these steps a million and six times in my life, man. This is a very, very normal view for me to walk up this way it's very very normal many of my pictures was out here man and you look at 444 bdf therapy session 444 this is where it was and i used to play basketball right here wasn't no basket here but i would shoot the ball right here that's when i first fell in love with the lakers we watched the games in this place right here you know i didn't actually ever go up there i really didn't i was i didn't know nobody so we, we stayed to our little area and I remember when they put this auto sprinkler thing up, it used to be bright red. Now it's turned green since it's been here for so long, but this was bright red when they first put it up. And this wasn't here. This door was not here, not that I remember. And that door was red. And the lady in the back, her door was red. I don't remember her name, but she had a black dog. It was scary as hell. And when I say scary, terrified of all of us. Scary as in you're afraid of it. No, it's afraid of you. That dog was scary, man. It used to pee when it saw people. It had a real mental illness. Like it really did. The anxiety dog. And there goes the castle. Oh, this castle. I remember when they built this too. And we used to go up this hill. See, this is the problem with living over here though. You had to park way back there or up this hill because there was never no parking. There ain't never no parking. Still the same, I'm sure. Never any parking. So sometimes we would park way around the corner up that way. Or a good portion of the time. And I mean a good portion of the time. We would park up this hill. We would park up this hill. If we, if we were lucky, we got a parking space where this white car is. If we were lucky. If not, we'd go all the way up, all the way to the end, sometimes even further than that. Sometimes we'd have to drive around like four and five loops just to find a parking spot. But this is that castle I was telling y'all about. It's kind of covered by all this rubbish or rubbery, whatever you call that word. But that house has always been this color. This has always looked like this, if I'm not mistaken. And every day I go to school... I would have to go up this hill, get to the get into our car, little Hyundai we had, or um, the Ford Taurus that my mom had. There's so many different cars. Had Betsy, '62 Thunderbird when I was little. She had a red Thunderbird that she gave away for like two thousand dollars. I think probably be worth like a hundred thousand dollars right now. But um, I was so angry that she gave that car away. It was in good condition. It just didn't. It needed a new engine, that kind of thing. '62 Thunderbird. It was immaculate. So, I remember when they built that, it ain't as new as, it ain't as old as one would think. They built that thing back in like 1994, something like that, 93, something like that. You would think it'd have been up for a million years like the rest of these buildings, but it wasn't. They built that fairly recently for what I'm used to, if that makes any sense. You know, I think that, that truck actually looks familiar. I wonder if it's the same person that lived there. It was this dude who uh, told us he was Prunky Brewster's dad. I think he used to live there. I think that's where he used to live. So that was a show back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I don't remember if she was a robot or something. I don't remember. It was way back, way, way back. But this is this is it, man. This is uh, my neighborhood, man. This is where I grew up. This is my original home.
I remember when I was super, my mom had this gift, a movie, and she would remember every part of that movie. That was one of her very, very special gifts. So I remember when Home Alone 2 came out, we had parked up that here in front of this house and she was just going back through almost the entire movie in her head talking. To and this part, in this part, I was like, mom, I just saw the movie. But that was her gift. She could just literally recite something. She just saw it two hours worth. She would remember the whole thing. That's something I actually didn't remember until right now. And that memory came back into my head. She, but she would do it a lot, you know? That was something she actually did all the time. So yeah, man, this is my neighborhood. This is originally one them that I had growing up. Stuff looks a little different, a lot different actually. But this is it. This is where I'm from. That's my apartment, 2041 North Ivor Avenue in Hollywood, California, 90028. Did you not, man? That's where BDF is from. If y'all wanna know, you see it. So I got about 10 minutes left. I'll take you down that tunnel and then show y'all how, how it looked kind of down there. But this is the crux of it. That, this was exactly what this was, but it wasn't this. I'll tell you that. It definitely wasn't this. And I don't remember what this was either. Some of this stuff is just too long ago, man. It was a really, really long time ago. <clears throat> but um, yeah, man, this is where I'm from. This is it. And that Dalmatian used to live right here. It was huge. Hey, buddy. This is it, man. That's where I'm from. Man, this neighborhood, I tell you, it has a lot of stories, but I tell you, most of my anxieties came from this over here. Mom, I didn't want to go to school and I would have a stomachache. It was in that room right there. And going up that hill, I would have anxiety about all of that because I didn't want to go to school. So I relate a lot of my anxiety to this, this area. Even though I didn't recognize it to be anxiety, I would be anxious. Some of the most anxious moments in my life, some of the most incredible holidays, Christmases and stuff like that. Opening up Super Nintendos and Game Boys and all that stuff. Here, this is where it was. You know, Mary just kind of driving past it as we go to school, go to children's club, stuff like this. This is, this is where I'm from. Many times. And the streets ain't never been right because there's a lot of old rooted um, trees. And it would always bring up the street like this ever since I can remember. It's always been like that. Man, this, this tunnel, how many times we drove up to this tunnel. My mom used to carry laundry and me two bags of laundry and a baby up the, through this tunnel all the way up to where we just came from and we walked through there so many times holidays halloweens when i walked through here i mean it's just infinite man the only place i ever knew until i was 16 years old it's infinite the many times i didn't walk through here and i mean different people that i knew in these areas and stuff like that and moved away forgotten about my boy mario was lived up this way shout out to mario if he remembers me i remember you buddy it's been many years, probably 30 years since I've seen Mario. Hope he's well. But yeah, man, all this, all these memories, bro. Since I was a baby, literal baby. This is the place she took me home to from UCLA Medical. This is where I first found myself. I've only moved four times in my life. This has never looked like this. I mean, she was always run down. This was always just nothingness the whole time I lived. This is the first time I've ever seen it actually look like anything. They turned it into a dog park. There's never a dog park when I was over here. Hell no. Hell no. Never. And Dick Street, I told y'all about Dick's. This is Dick's. The hill is Dick's and then this street is Dick's. That's why Ivar is this and then Ivar is over there too. So it just, they just curve like that. It's, they, they curve. How else to explain it? The streets just don't go straight. And in Franklin right here, I remember some of my friends from school lived in this. That I remember. I don't remember being red. We're at 14 minute mark, we got 21. So I only got like seven more minutes to talk. But then again, I think the other one should be uploaded so that'll give me an extra 15 minutes. But yeah, man, I'm telling y'all, this is my neighborhood, this is it. This is it. This is where I'm really, really from. This is home, actual home. When people say oh, I'm from there, this is home for me. Seeing this perspective up here, driving and turning the corner and going up that way, turning this way. Walking over here a million and a half times in various different childhood, walking through here, just various different points. Like a little kid, 15, 14, nine, you name it, all of it. It was all here. This was all I knew, all I knew. And I remember my dad helped us move. It was my dad, Lester, and my mom and myself. And we moved and that was the end of this place. Moved over here, out of here and we were like, in like 2001, I think it was. 
we finally moved out of here. And it might be a little earlier than that, but I think it was like 2001, we moved to Dunsmere. I think so. Maybe before that. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Somewhere between. It definitely wasn't the first NBA championship era. The Shaq and Kobe championship, we watched at that place. The, the one with the Pacers and all that, we watched that here. You know, the Lakers versus Blazers, for those of my Laker fans, that was watching that place. But I think the second championship was there at, at uh, Dunsmere. So, that gives you an understanding of the timeline of when I moved from over here, like 2001. Yeah. I lived a whole life before I started doing BDF 44, man. I was already 30 when I started this channel. There goes another one of Lester's buildings, that white building up there. Les and Bronze used to live there. And uh, I actually think I want to stay on this side so I can show you where that, uh, that uh, place that uh, we used to wash it. For some reason, I want to show y'all that. But this is, this is a very, very, very comfortable space for me. Very, very comfortable, comfortable over here, to be honest with you. As y'all can clearly see, I was walking, trekking through that property. But it's mine. <laughs> as far as I can tell, this is mine before it was y'all's. Y'all don't even know who used to live here. This guy used to live here. These are my streets. Did you not? This is where I'm from. Yeah, a lot of y'all from different places in the world. You can see where I'm from, buddy. And this whole, for this place as well. That place burned down like four times. Insurance scam, I'm almost positive of it. Used to be a lot of the time. Burned down and burned it down, burned it down. Every couple months it would burn down. Kid you not. I ain't even playing. Every couple months. And this hotel, I think it was a hotel. hotel. But this is the little place we used to go to do laundry. And it was a 7-Eleven here as long as I remember. I think they finally tore down everything that was here. But I'll show you. I'll show you where it was. And my mom would walk all that, walk all the way from down here, all the way through there with heavy laundry. Heavy laundry. Because we didn't have a car back then. It was between when Betsy broke down and we didn't have our car yet. And man, oh man. All the memories over here. I remember my homeboy Fry said he had gotten somebody put a pulled a gun on him over here in some of this area. Right in front of this uh 7-Eleven that used to be here. But yeah, that's what this is. Oh wow. Damn. That's what happened. It burned down. Holy crap, that burned down. So this was a 7-Eleven right here, and that was a laundromat right there. And somewhere in between that you can clearly see it singed. It burned down. I knew it wasn't here no more, but I didn't know that's what it happened to it. But that was my neighborhood 7-Eleven. I go there more than anything else. I remember I left my Game Boy over here in that uh in that laundry mat. It looked like it was a laundry right before it burned down too. It finally burned down, y'all. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That almost makes me sad to be honest with you. And you consider that was my neighborhood laundry mat. That was the only place I did laundry for the first half of my life. There wasn't no laundry in that building. <laughs> laundry in the building? We didn't know nothing about that. We had to walk. And she would do it too. She would walk all the way down there with me and stuff. Cause she couldn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't walking yet. But she would carry me and the laundry. That's Barbara for you. Every day. Usually that back then she worked in Fox Lot. So that was down Sunset. Sunset and Western, that kind of area. That's where my mom was at for the most part. But they moved to me like in like 93, 94, something like that. I don't remember. That'll tell you how long I've been alive, man. That'll tell you how old your boy really is. Just because I look kind of young. Hell no, man. <laughs> no. I remember this place when it was totally different. So, yeah, man. I got about four minutes left to talk. And all we're doing is just trekking CVS right here. You know what I'm saying? This rent-a-car place has always been there. Galpin Motors. In Burbank, I believe it was. But they also had the Galpin... I think that's why she bought her cars from Galpin, so she could have it serviced here. I think that's why. But that's always been there. But, uh, yeah, we used to buy a lot of our cars at Galpin. Down in, like, I think at Burbank or Glendale, something like that. Hey, man, we would trek out to Burbank. Anytime we wanted to go anywhere, we'd go to Burbank. Burbank Airport. If we wanted to fly, we didn't go fly LAX, because fly LAX was further out. That was, that was, we didn't have to trek all the way to the other side of town. Only, we would, only reason why we would go to Inglewood is to go visit my auntie. My Auntie Cheryl, that I was telling y'all about, we passed from cancer. Miss her very much. And then my Uncle Thurman, the one who's been helping me out lately, he lived in Carson. So we would slide out to Carson all the time to visit him. But this is where we would come back to. This is the home home base. And uh, I can't, I mean, walking down this street is nothing, man. It's more comfortable walking down this street than any street probably in the world, believe it or not. Lennox and all that, that ain't home for me. 
Even Dunsmere, when I talk about Wilshire, nah, that's not, nah, nah. this is home. And I consider where I want to be when I'm most comfortable, when I just want to be somewhere where I feel safe or whatever the hell it would be, it's here. Hollywood. That's street back there and every all the surrounding streets. I didn't get to show you that hill. I did walk up that hill, but I didn't get to show you the, the look down like I would have. But I might come back over here again sometime. This used to be Sharky's. Sharky's right here. Mexican food place and mom and I often used to go the end of the time we lived over here because it wasn't here when I was little but yeah Sharky's and uh got about a minute left to talk man so I guess I'll try to upload these and uh I don't know if I want to stay in this area or not or if I want to leave I don't know but uh yeah the train station is very close so it is what it is man I appreciate y'all trekking back down memory lane in my neighborhood you know check out these Hollywood videos I've been leaving up because it's giving you an understanding of where I'm from and what I remember old Popeyes and stuff like that so yeah man that's what it is I think I'll head back this way go to the train I don't know if I'm gonna head back to North Hollywood yet but I head back that way eventually but for now video 44 out